Alright guys, I'm here back again, Sam, um, doing another video gear update. Uh, I know I just did a Marine Corps webbing, and I thought I'd do uh, my airborne stuff since I just got these M36 suspenders from at the front. They're very nice, high quality reproductions. Um, so yeah, this would be for the basic, uh, your basic rifleman during, um, well, I mean, it is just an M36 pack, so I guess it technically could be infantry too, uh, but usually infantry got the 1910 pack, and all of Airborne was issued the, um, 36 pack. So I guess, first off, I'll start off with the cartridge belt. Uh, it is a 1923 M... 1923 cartridge belt. It can hold the M1 Grand clip and a Springfield clip. Um, it is all drab because it's actually khaki. OD3 actually. It's OD7 on the outside because it belonged to my great grandfather who was in the Marine Corps. You, you can actually see this is actually a USMC belt. Um, well, when he was in the Marine Corps, he, um, he painted it all of drab, um, and you can tell that he was a much skinnier man than I was. Uh, so, that's that, um, and I guess it works with Airborne because they did paint their stuff all of drab 7 with, uh, whatever paint was there from painting the planes, like C-47s, from painting, from on the air, on the airfield. They paint them. So anyway, uh, my 36 pack here. Um, I have it attached to my. This would be after like a couple days or like an hour or two after they jumped. Uh, they had time to actually hook it up correctly um, because when they're jumping, they had it flipped in front of them. So yep. Uh, I don't have anything in it right now. I just have a towel in it just to give it some shape. Um, I will do a video, actually no, I'm not going to do a video, you'll just, uh, Airborne Boy 506 is going to do a video on contents of it, and he just did a 1910 content haversack, and it was very well explained, and he actually has a field manual for it, so I don't want to mess up, and yeah, just watch his video. Um, anyway, uh, 19, original 1943 dated shovel, uh, the handle's broken off, I showed this in my, um, in the, uh, Marine Corps gear video, um, original, uh, I don't know what it's dated, um, it's really blurred out, uh, canteen cover, and the, an original M1 Grand scabbard, I still need to get the bayonet for it, at the time, I only had the money to get the scabbard, and it was only like ten bucks, so I just got it. So, <clears throat> and then the uh, M36 uh, combat suspenders. Uh, not the first pattern, the second pattern, I guess. First pattern was a little rougher and darker, and it didn't have the. It was just this loop here. It didn't have the hinge kind of thing. Um, yeah, so it fits all nice. I actually have this a lot bigger than it needs to fit around my waist because I kind of, I don't want it too tight, so the suspenders are too, they get bunched up, so I have it, all the weight is going down on me, so. Um, also another thing that we just got from at the front is the medical armband. Uh, they said something about how, uh, people were complaining about the snaps on it, so they actually did give you two, um, safety pins to go with it, but they do, they still do have the snaps on it, so, I mean, yeah, people were complaining about how, um, the snaps didn't hold up, and they just fell off and, uh, unsnapped pretty easily, so, I mean, if I was just doing, wearing it for, like, a really short time, I'd just snap it up quickly, but if I knew I was going to be wearing it for a long amount of time, I would pin it up, um, that's about it. New videos, um, 
I'm going to do a video uh, some of you were are wondering about um, World War II Living History Group. I will do a video about it to explain it some more. Um, if you'd like to join, just leave a comment. Uh, in Janesville, Wisconsin area, uh, we do shows all over Wisconsin and Illinois. Um, so, yeah, if you uh, comment, rate, subscribe, uh, and share. Yeah, share it. Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, I don't care. Google Plus, if you really want to. Um, yeah, I'm probably missing something there, so, yep. Uh, see ya.